Hey everyone, how is it going today? I'm going to be reacting to Quadeca's new album, I Didn't Mean to Haunt You. But before we get into this reaction, you guys already know what it is. We are more than just reaction, so hit that subscribe button. Become a part of this journey. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I know I am Quadeca. I've never reacted to you before. But my brother has been hyping this album up, telling me to react to it. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm finna do. Not going to make this intro too long. You guys already know the vibes. I'm excited to listen to it. I'm excited. Let's get it started with the first track, Sorry for Dying. I'm sorry for dying. I'm sorry for lying. I'm sorry for making all these chicks be sorry. I'm not a rapper. Nice little arpeggio to start it off. The horns coming in, synthetic horns. It's very like a an airy kind of an airy yet full sound. Wait, that's quiet AF. Why is that so quiet? Dude, his the production on his voice sounds so weird, bro. It's so weird, but it sounds good. How do you freaking get lyrics up on Spotify? Am I just a bot, or are they just are there just no lyrics? Oh, this is way better. I didn't know the full screen option. I'm a, I'm an idiot. I'm so dumb, dude. That's really pretty. Yo, the production's sick. Sick on this bit. Sounds really, like, ghostly right now. I didn't mean to haunt you, so I guess that's what he's going for. <laughs> But the production's so this is like super experimental, dude. This is one of those Johns you just listen to wait, what is going on right now? What's about to happen? This is what the music makes me want to do right now. It makes me like feel like I should just get up and start about to fight someone, you know? Sounds like he's on a mission to freaking wreak some freaking havoc, dude wreaking havoc in his ghostly body. And then this sounds like accepted. 
Bro, I am so dumb right now. What the frick am I talking about? Yeah, this just sounds like he's accepting his death and now he's content with it. Before he was angry that he was gonna die and he was gonna wreak havoc and now it's just the realization that this is just reality. This is what it is. The production's really cool, though. I just changed my freaking audio settings, too. So hopefully the levels are good. Hopefully my voice isn't too loud. Hopefully the music isn't too loud. I'm really hoping. I'm really hoping it's it's all right. All right. So that was the first track. Uh, sorry for dying. I liked it. It's very interesting. It's very experimental. Uh, a lot of instrumental. Um, yeah, a lot of it was literally just instrumental and not lyrics. But the production was really cool and it felt like it was telling a story. I know I was kind of messing around like saying all these things. But that's actually how I felt listening to it. So I don't know if that's what he was trying to convey. Um, but that's kind of what the emotion that it made me feel. So there are some music videos. There are three music videos that he released with this album. Um, and so the next track is called Tell Me a Joke. What the? What did I just do, bro? Dude, this guy's a performer, bro. I do want to say that I was not expecting this type of production. It's so different. A man walked into a bar. Whoa. Dude, I don't know what's freaking going on. That was an interesting harmony. This is really pushing my ear. It's like, it's challenging my ear. The, the production's so different. No! What did I just do? Holy frick. I accidentally just hit a random key. Did I just skip like a lot? I I'm gonna go back. I I'm so sorry. That's gorgeous. I like this music video though. I like that nice simple drum beat, the real drum set.
it does sound really ghostly like his voice it's like you have to like at least for me i have to really focus on like what he's what he's saying like i have to really focus on um trying to understand the words that he's saying otherwise i i would not even be able to decipher the lyrics at all And then these are like fake drums, but the same drum pattern. That sounds so cool, dude. That sounds really cool. So I'm guessing that him in these videos, he's a ghost. Am I correct about that? Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my lord, dude. Dude, the breakdown of that was crazy. That was crazy. Yo, it's so... It's so interesting. It's just, <laughs> this is so, this is just pushing my ear so much. It's so different. Sheesh. I, what the frick? I don't even know what to say. I, I have no idea what to say. We're going to move on straight into the next track. Don't mind me. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to pause it real quick and see if there's a transition or anything. See if it flows into it, the next song. Nope. Well, sort of, I guess. I don't know. Breaking A. There we go. What did he just say? Bro, I, I, what, I, I, I just don't get it. Why aren't the lyrics on Spotify? I need the lyrics, dude. I need them. Because I ain't got no clue what you be saying, Quadeca. I ain't got no idea. Don't mind me. I'm just out here trying to understand what you be saying, but I can't understand you, dog. Freaking A. It sounds good, but... <laughs> Sorry. Somewhere in between, I'm still living a dream. Open your boxes, looking for closure. Point to the sky, falling in 
Oh. Is that a drill beat, dude? Yeah. Yeah. Yo. That freaking like that it's a, it's a, just like a giant freaking tom. Boom 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 boom. So heavy. Oh, that's sick. That's sick. This is just so vibey, bro. It's a man's Hashtag not sponsored. Sorry, that wasn't even funny. Was wasn't even funny. Bro, what's about to happen, dude? I feel like he's about to blue ball me. I'm prepared for like a drop and it's just not gonna come. I guarantee it, bro. Watch. Watch. Just building and building and building. Let's see if it comes. I know I'm right, dude. I know I'm right. Please prove me wrong, though. Did I know I'm right, bro? There's no way. There's no way. I like all the ad libs though. Ad libs are on point. So, yeah, they call me Mystic Mac because I predict these things. It's crazy, but that did flow into the next track pretty nicely. Um, I think that that track should have been a little bit shorter. I enjoyed it. I think it sounded really nice and certain parts were really, really freaking cool. Um, but I think he could have shaved off the last like 30 seconds or so. We're moving into the next song, Picking Up Hands. This song is making me freaking crack, dude. I can feel my veins shaking. It's like, nah, let me stop. Wall, 
I this is probably my least favorite so far, but it's really early into the song. Like this is one of those songs that it might get really good, but this first part is just like a turn off. It's just a it's a straight turn off so far. Same carpet, I crawled in. Same bucket, I was washed in. I gave my time to it. I was trying to figure out the faucets. Tall marks on the world charts. It's wrong parts getting longer. I'm longer. I'm not feeling this one, guys. I'll be honest with you. I'm trying to to understand it and feel the vibe but I'm not I have like a perpetual Maybe this one's just too experimental for me. I don't know. Sounds super metallic. It sounds on this part that like everything's kind of really tinny. It's like he removed so much of the bass out of it, and I kind of I just want that bass. I feel like if it had that bass, I'd feel it more. I don't know what's going on guys I'm sorry What I need to understand is why is there a dog down here, bro? What is that dog doing? Does it signify something? It's Ash. That made perfect sense until you say them out loud. Okay. So that's by far my least favorite song. I'll probably never listen to that track ever again. Like, you know, respectfully. Um, but yeah, man, I don't know. That just did not hit for me at all, bro. I was like listening to parts that, you know, like hoping that something was gonna jump out at me and sound good but literally nothing did it sounds so terrible but it just didn't sound great to me um 
Yeah, but we're moving on to the next track, Born Yesterday. This one has a music video, obviously. So I did lie. This isn't my first ever Quideco reaction, but it kind of is. I feel like I may have heard this song before. This sounds really familiar. I remember not liking it. <laughs> but maybe I'm used to, I'm more used to the sound now, so we'll see. Ooh. I was a boy yesterday. I was a boy anyway. I was a boy anyway. I laughed when you went away. It's like, now let me stop. This is all like psychedelic, psychedelic y. This is what I picture like if you're on acid and you're listening to music, I feel like this is what you'd be hearing. They're just like. Dancing to absolutely nothing. I'm feeling this one a lot more actually than the last track. Well, I think any track I'd probably feel more than the last one to be honest. <laughs> That's hard. I gotta go back a little bit. That was actually really hard, that switch. That's gross. This, this is probably my favorite song so far. I really didn't like this the first time I heard it. What the frick, dude? So weird. That actually, that sounds so good, bro. Definitely lying to me. Loki, I don't know why I was just hearing like a slow drum beat, just like <laughs> 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 
Like something like that, bro. Like if that just came in with that heavy freaking kick, that would be godlike. That one picture is just bothering the crap out of me, dude. I know it's done purposefully. I know. But my OCD, dude, my OCD, this is triggering me, dude. Okay, so, oh wait, is it gonna continue? What the? Okay, this, this actually, I just had a thought watching this music video. Um, when he was specifically banging on the house, just like knocking. Is this an album where he's like, looking over past experiences in his life? And thinking about ways that he could have handled different, cert he could have handled situations differently, like regrets that he's had, or just things that he should have said that he never said, things he should have done that he ne that he never did, and he's thinking about those things, and him being a ghost and invisible. It's like because obviously they're like you think about ghosts. It's not someone from the freaking future. It's someone who died in the past. And their spirit is like is haunting that place. So he's looking at these past memories, reliving them, and wishing he can go in and change those things, but can't. I don't know. Is that what he's saying? Like, let me know down in the comments below, please, uh, what this album is about and what what certain songs are about. I'm gonna do my best to try to decipher, but you know it's tough, especially on the first listen. But we're gonna move straight into uh, the next song. It's the shortest track on the album, The Memories We Lost, Be Lost in Translation. Memories we lost in translation. Think about that. Think about that title. Dude, this is just... Bro. What the freak, bro? What the freak? What the freak? 
So yeah, thinking about the title of that of that track and what I just said in the last song about like revisiting past memories and, and all that. I think of the memories we lost we lost in translation. I heard a quote that when we remember something, we're thinking about the last time we remembered that experience and not thinking about the actual experience. Like we're remembering the memory, the remembering the previous memory of that experience. So it's almost like when we think about these memories, they're being translated to our, our, our current perception. Um, every single time they're being translated. So it's like how much stuff is being lost in translation? How much, how much of our memories are really being lost in that translation? It's interesting to think about. Such an experimental album, man. And house settling. If this guy is just a ghost, right? His he is writing in, um, I guess, a ghost perspective. I guess um, a lot of ghosts, like, well, you know, from what we're told and what people say, is that they like to settle um, in places where that have a lot of meaning to them. So. He's just trying to find it's like getting a tattoo. Like if you're a type of person like me, I don't have any tattoos, but I do want to get tattoos, but I'd only get a tattoo if it means a ton to me. Like it has to mean so much to me to the point where I'd put it on my body to last forever. And this is like where his spirit is going to dwell forever. So what is the most meaningful thing to him? where he can be there forever and be content with that. What is he saying here, dude? <laughs> dude. Oh my gosh, bro. Stop 
run into a what like you? Run into a what like you? I don't know much, Quadeca. I don't know much. But I know one thing. And I know you ain't that. I know you ain't that. Bro, wait a minute. Like, maybe I just need more context and need to go back and listen to the song a couple of times over. Like, see the lyrics to... But... Huh? What you say? Wait. Oh, I am so stupid. I am so freaking stupid. Danny Brown, I apologize, bro. Or Quadeca, I apologize. I didn't realize that there was a feature on the song. Now I sound like an idiot. Now I sound... Oh my. I told you guys. I didn't know... I don't know, like, anything. I didn't... I don't know much. I don't know much. I'm stupid. I'm so dumb. I am so dumb. Okay. Guys. I'm not going to lie, man. Not going to not going to lie one bit. Don't think I'm feeling the album. It's like we're halfway through, over halfway through. And it might just be too experimental for me. It might just be too experimental. Like, I don't know what's going on a majority of the time. And I'm trying so hard to just to feel it. And But I, I can't feel it. I really can't feel it. But I'm going to keep an open mind for the rest of the songs. Moving straight into knots. But I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. <sighs> So dumb. I'm so dumb. In my chest. Yeah. Dude, I feel like he's about to freaking explode.
Ja. What is this genre? Like, what type of genre is it? Like, what what do you call this? Let me know. Please let me know. You know that weird kid in high school that, like, just would sit there and, like, he's just this weird dude and he's really flamboyant in a way and... You just look at him like a weirdo, but he's not like a shy weirdo. He's like that dude where it's like, yo, you know he's weird, but he's actually kind of like fun and cool and funny or whatever. And he just listens to music like this. That You guys know what I'm talking about? In a closed casket, I'm a I'm a open book in a closed casket. Yeah. I'm in distress, bro. I'm straight up in distress. I feel like that's probably what he was going for, maybe. But, like, why do you want to make someone... Why do you want to put someone in distress, dog? I genuinely feel like that's what he was trying to do with that song. It's called Knots. And Knots is just... Tension. Tension in your freaking back built up tension to where you have freaking knots dude he just put me in distress dude i'm stressed out i'm stressed out after listening to that i'm actually stressed i'm like like no cap bro now this next track fantasy world seven minutes 18 seconds long the longest track on this album i i'm gonna be honest with you i'm not looking forward to please please just bring me out of distress Bring me out of distress. Bring me into the light. Bring me into the light, Kudeka. Please. I need the light. I need the light. I need the light. All you do is put me in a fright. I, I just did. Like, just show me the light, Quadeca. And you know what he does? The first thing that he says? The first thing he tells me? Micah, you can cry yourself to sleep. F you. That's what he just told me.
Wow. The neglect. Dude, I'm like, this Sean is kicking in. Don't we all? Don't we all? Mountains away. Mountains away. That's where I wanna stay. See, you know what it is too is like pretty parts of this album. It's like, oh, that would sound pretty. Like it sounds kind of pretty, but. Underneath it is a haunting feel to it. And obviously that's what he's going going um that's where he's coming from, and that's what he's trying to convey. But I feel like I just need a break. I need a break. Like this feels like it should be a break, but it's not. That place over the hill where you dream about crossing. It's not a cry for help To rethink your options It's your mom's bakery in Maine It's that cabin in Sweden It's the going offline It's next year I'll go vegan And it's not a war That's fantasy world. He blue balled me again. Shay blue balled. Okay, never mind. No, we didn't. Just so big, dude. Pause. Kind of reminds me of um, that one Christina Perry song. Just in a different key. And wait, let me go back a little bit. Be fast, compromise. 
Okay, I mean, it's not it, but whatever. See, in my opinion, it should end here. But it's not going to end here. There's so much more. Two more minutes. How do you add two minutes onto this? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what he does. There's no way it's just going to be this for two minutes. <coughs> There's no way he does this to me, bro. If nothing happens, I'm going to be pissed, bro. I'm not. I, I'm about to throw hands, dude. I'm about to straight throw hands. There's no way. There's no freaking way. I might I'm getting trolled I'm actually getting trolled here bro I just got trolled for over two minutes, bro. I... <sighs> Listen. Listen up. New viewers. Old viewers. Like... Bro. I'm all for artists really showing their artistry. And making extended versions of songs. And making long outros and all that if it just if it fits this just sounded like it sounded like he just put on an extra like three minutes of to that song for literally no reason like it didn't do anything it literally didn't do a single thing like not one not one single thing not one <coughs> besides waste my freaking time like i'm sorry i'm sorry this probably had one of the best moments on the entire album. That whole build was crazy. And when I thought it was over, it went, it got even bigger somehow. I was like, what the freak? That's crazy. And then trolled me for the rest of the remainder of the song after that. Like, I, I felt like I got trolled, dude. Like, he's playing some sort of freaking practical joke on me, dude. Now we're going to go to Fractions of Infinity. And this is featuring. Um, the Sunday service choir. Just interesting. Um, <laughs> hope. <laughs> so let's go. Dude, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, guys. Like, I'm. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kinda over it. I'm over it, but I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna have an open mind for the, the remainder of the album. The last two tracks. Time you let yourself think I might be gone in time I let myself play I wouldn't say I was surprised On the day second time Was the last time your love was unrequited I know I showed up to the party uninvited 
It's getting hard for me to find You know what it is? I'm not even gonna pause. I'm just gonna talk over it, bro. It's my freaking reaction. I could do whatever the heck I want. People are gonna be typing in the comments, Micah, you idiot. What are you doing? Stop talking over the music. Like, shut up. Shut up. I, I do what I want. I'm, I don't think I'm a fan of the sound in general. Like, I feel like this, could sound good to a lot of people but I just don't think I actually like the sound so that really might be it that might be the the root to how I feel about this album Well, this is literally featuring Sunday Service Choir. He could have gotten any choir. He could have gotten... He could have went to a random freaking church. Saw their choir. Be like, yo, can you guys sing this for me? Like, you don't... You guys don't even have to practice it. Like, really. Just, like, practice it once. Come in. Like, just do it. Do your thing. Just be out of here. Like, the choir is playing, like, such a minimal role, I feel like, in the song so far. Like when I see featuring Sunday Service Choir, I I I just think of them being like a really cool focal point to the song, but I think the production around it and like this haunting sound that it gives, it's like any choir could have done it and it would have sounded exactly the same. Like Sunday Service Choir, I feel like it just has this very specific sound to it, even though it's a choir. You know, choirs sound similar to an extent. There's like a feel to it. There's just a different feel. And it's just, it isn't giving me that feel. But maybe that comes later in the song. Okay, man. Guys, I'm trying really hard. I'm trying really hard. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's this is what I was talking about. There we go. <laughs> Sunday Service Choir. This is why it's featured on the song. This is why. My favorite part of the album. <laughs> no cap. No cap. 
Those words don't do you justice. Those words don't do you justice. That was so bad. That was so trash. Those words don't do you justice. Those words don't do you justice. No, 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 they don't. No, 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 they don't. Okay. Sunday service choir finally featured at the ending of the song. Okay. I understand why it's featured now. That part, I, I actually like that part a lot. Um, Yeah, I think at the end of the day, I I don't think I'm a fan of this this sound. So I think that's what it kind of boils down to. I feel like if I liked the sound, then I would enjoy the album. But the sound is really just, it's not pleasant to my ear. Um, which is weird because... Usually I'm not like that. Usually I'm really not like that. But it's probably because it's it's just oh no 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 no. The outro track is eight minutes and wait what the freak eight minutes and sixteen seconds. But thank you guys for tuning into this reaction. I'm sorry, I didn't enjoy the album that much. I'm gonna get my hold on. I'm gonna call my brother real quick. Um, he better answer and let's see. I'm going to tell him to come down real quick. Hopefully you can hear him over the mic. Hello. Yo, Nathan, are you home? Yeah, I, mean, I just got done cleaning my hair. Yo, uh, can you... Or, like, you have a shirt on and stuff, right? I'm getting a shirt on right now. All right. Put a shirt on and, and come down to the basement. Do you need me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. ASAP, no rock. Alright, let's I gotta tell. Okay, okay, just it's alright. Just take your time. I'll see you. Alright, I'll be right back. Oh wait, I just played the song. Okay. We're moving into the last song. Cassidy's Division. Cassidy's Division. She's making it so pos Sign up. Yeah, going back to basics. I'm chasing all these painless feelings. Well, I don't gotta do nothing. Don't gotta do nothing. It's so painless. This beautiful fragrance making me feel good. I never eat in my reactions, but I want some freaking cookies, bro. This is in celebration. In celebration of finishing the album. Or almost. Yeah. I've been trying to move past the crack and the dust scratches. But that's what I am. You know? An accidental side effect of a blank canvas. Think about that glowing dust that destroys the night sky's dream. To be in the 
that's why all we want is peace. All we want is to stop thinking. All we want is to just wait in silence. It's in our code. That's why it's all so ironic. Maybe that's the punchline. The point weighs on me. Only because I push away from it, it waves with the light that follows me like a curious bone. You can come in for that. I am recording. On the last song. Get your face in here. Maybe that's the perfect board that's begging me to join it. Begging me to let you go. I'm sorry, I mean, you can probably go in here. So I can make that boy just a little bit better. So, when you see it, it's a next time. Nathan. I kind of want to just pause it and not finish the rest of the song. Like, ever. I'm gonna skip through. Oh! A lot of just static. So this was just pointless. He just trolled me. He just trolled me. Okay. I'm gonna get you on the mic too. Just speak into the mic when you when you want to, but so my brother, Nathan, right beside me. Did how okay, what tracks do you think? We're gonna be my favorites. Alright. Um so I was thinking about this when Talking I was talking to the mic. Oh. I was thinking about this when I was driving to Walmart. My number one was between two. Either tell me a joke. Okay. Or um it was either tell me a joke or born yesterday for number one. So one okay. and two. And then don't mind me sorry for dying uh picking up hands we're gonna be the next three in no order okay then house and then it'll probably be fantasy world house settling in knots okay mm -hmm. and then this is an interlude so it's kind of like yeah then, it doesn't really count um this second to last this last okay by a lot like it's yeah that sounds trash but um so what track do you think i liked the most tell me a joke can I tell you something that's not a joke? <laughs> Go. I hated the album. Really? I hated it. That's crazy. And I was like shook because I'm like, dude. Every like, song? Like you didn't enjoy a single song? No. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I'm not even kidding. Like Born Yesterday, if I had to pick a favorite, would be my favorite. Okay. That's like probably most people. But... You, I, I just don't maybe it was just the sound I didn't I don't think I liked the sound okay well you could like, he was going for a specific I know I can tell he was going for a specific thing and I think he did a good job going for that thing but, it's but I just don't think I'm a fan of it you know what's funny I had Vera listen to I forget talking the mic so <laughs> Vera listened to a few my, songs, my, our, our sister. sister our sister Vera and she said that she was like not gonna lie I wasn't feeling it but Vera went into it like she listened to two random songs and didn't know the concept or didn't understand yeah. what she was looking for, listening to. But like I feel like if you're just listening to them as songs, yeah, it's you. I would understand why someone wouldn't like it. But I could I listen to the album like listening to tracks one through five. Mm -hmm. I really really like like in order, and then I I like knots. Knots is probably my favorite song. As just a song. Knots, when I was listening to it, it reminded me of Johnny. Johnny. That's his name, right? Johnny? High school choir? Oh, Gatlin? Yes. Yeah, Death Grips. Yes. It reminds me of Johnny and Death, Death Grips. Grips. And I was just like thinking to myself, like, like that's all I was picturing listening to it. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, this is just so, but yeah. Dude, didn't I say, I was like, I don't know. I, don't, I was like. I don't think know if you're gonna like it, and you're like, I'll probably like it. Like, there's hard for me not to like an, al like, to not I know. Like an album. I know it's really hard for me to not like an like, album. And like, you're like, even if so I don't hard. like it, there's gonna be a few songs I'm like, yeah. Like. 
There was not a single one. Like no cap, not a from single from beginning time. to end. Not a single from one. beginning but to did end. Did you like any part of the songs that you were like, oh, okay, that took it back? No, that took it. really, nothing. Like, re- like there might be like certain parts from like, oh, I kind of like that. Even but then, like, sorry for dying. I feel like it's so beautiful. The beginning of that, song. dude. It's, I think, just that haunting sound that he's going for. Yeah. What do you know? What the album means, by the way? I didn't mean to haunt you. Yeah. Well, he's writing like, it from the perspective of a ghost. He's dead. Yes, okay, yes, I get it. But, yeah. So, like, my when I was listening to it and the the music video, probably in Born Yesterday, Did he you was... Watch the, the he was video? Yeah. Uh, he was... No, I didn't watch that. Oh, okay. I was doing that and then looking at uh, music videos. Okay. The three different music videos. But when I listened to Born Yesterday and saw the video and he was knocking on the person's house, there was, like, one scene. Mm-hmm. And it was, like, really quick. And I was just thinking to myself, is he looking at, like, past memories and like revisiting those moments mm. like yeah he's writing it in like a from a, a ghost perspective yeah but obviously like this ties to real life so is yeah. it he looking at his past memories and revisiting those memories mm. and the, because he has like the one song called um where is it the mem yeah, yeah the, the memories the, the memories lost in translation i'm like think because you heard like the saying of when you remember something it's not you remembering that memory. It's rem- it's you remembering the last time you remembered that that situation. Have you heard that before? Uh, no. But it makes uh, maybe I don't think so. I haven't heard it. No, oh, not. I'm surprised. <laughs> but yeah, that's like a thing. Okay, okay. So it's like the memories we lost in translation. So you revisiting that memory. It's just you revisiting the memory and not the moment. So how much stuff is like actually lost in that? So I was like yeah. thinking, like I wonder if that's what he's kind of talking it, about, like through the be, album. That's what he's going for. It could be. Um, I feel like there's a lot of different things he, like, as a bo- as a concept, he nailed what he was. Going yeah, for. I think as a concept for sure. And like his writing, I feel like the writing's good, but I I totally understood why people were like, yeah, I don't really, or like listen to it once and never revisit it. Yeah, I could understand. For I don't know. For me, there's just a lot of like, like I can understand not liking full tracks, but when I listen to it. Those first five tracks, I was at work. It was something different. And also, and like, Sorry for Dying, how it starts off, I was just like, dude, this is how you start off an album. Do I have to like skip some? No, you can start it. Because you know I love freaking this album. Oh, yeah, the trumpets and stuff. Yeah, or the horns, I should say. Yeah. I don't know, bro. I like <laughs> also though my favorite part of the whole album is in picking up hands. Uh, where is it? Okay, let's see. Let's see. It's such a long freaking video, bro. Holy frick. <laughs> I forget how I even reacted to this part, but <laughs> yeah, I, no. I I had a it feeling like, you weren't gonna like it. It was a ve- like like I'm literally like sitting here like ch- I was like trying so hard to like every single track, and then just eventually, you were just saying I was about. like, I just genuinely don't like the sound of it. Yeah, respect. So did you um in house settling Danny Brown? I know I'm not really familiar oh, with Oh, well, him. honestly, so How Settling and then he, his verse, I didn't realize that there was a feature on the song. Oh, you thought so it was So I thought it was you? him. And <laughs> when he said the oh, N-word, <laughs> I was like, wait, I'm not, I'm stupid. Like, I don't know much, but I know one thing, and that you ain't that. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, so Danny, I apparently caught Decker in an interview. He was like, he asked Danny Brown to rap that verse from the perspective of carbon my my monoxide or something like that because it has to do with like um like i forget the explanation but he well it's it's it. whatever i mean i thought it was cool man he, i like it i like the first especially the first five tracks and then actually the first eight the first eight i'm like i could listen to and then fantasy wild. world i think fantasy world's a little slow Oh, but Fantasy gets, World trolled me too. But when it gets to the climax, it, I like it. No, Fantasy World absolutely trolled me. It got to the climax, and I was like, 
okay, that's cool. And then he should end the song. Yeah, but he did. Yeah, but then going. it went for another like two and a half minutes of yeah. nothing. Yeah, nothing yeah, yeah. happened. Not a single thing. Yeah. Like literally not one thing. Yeah. I'm like, bro, what? I'm sitting here just like waiting. And I said it. I w- there was another song too. I forget which song it was, but it was like, it was, it was like, it was, he was hinting at a climax. And I was like, I guarantee you. That it's not gonna happen, <laughs> I guarantee you. And then I was right, yeah, and I was like, "Bro, you just blue balls me." Yeah. And also, they call me Mystic Mac. I don't even because I predict these things. <laughs> but, but anyway, that yeah, that's gonna do it for the reaction, guys. I like I got to be honest with you, I just wasn't a fan. I uh, I don't even know what to rate it. I don't know what to rate it because I don't want to like objectively speaking, he was going for a certain thing. And he hit it to a T. Wait, do you know what Fantano rated it? I saw it was like a seven out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, but Not just just me personally, just you personally the rated. the personal. Yeah, the personal. The personal, the personal. would be because is it, is it zero out of ten or one out of ten? Really that bad? <laughs> well, I guess there's eleven songs, and then it's like okay, how many tracks? Did I there was like? there was zero tracks that I liked. Okay. Like. Born Yesterday would be the closest track to like something that I liked, but I I would not just listen to it. Just I don't know, so I might have to say a zero out of eleven, bro. I can't wait for you to post this. I can't wait. Frick, You're bro. Gonna get a lot of hate. I don't care. I literally don't care. But that's gonna do it for the reaction, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.